In December, we published Infertility Sterility, the official organ of the American Society for Reproductive Medicine, a rather unique paper where we summarized our experience with the worst of the worst patients. And uh, to our surprise, and certainly to the surprise of most of our colleagues, when we analyzed the data, uh, a very significant group of patients did surprisingly well. What the study in principle demonstrated is that the current policy favored by most uh, IVF centers around the world, that very poor prognosis patients should not be even given a chance of achieving pregnancies with their own eggs is really mistaken because a significant portion of these patients will still have a quite surprisingly high pregnancy chance. Now obviously the pregnancy chances and delivery chances that can be achieved in such patients are limited and can never be compared uh, to the chances that young donor eggs would give you. But in making a choice between a lower pregnancy chance with use of their own eggs and a much higher pregnancy chance with young donor eggs, many patients understandably will choose the lower pregnancy chance with their own eggs. Therefore, it is important to understand what those chances are. Here at CHR, our recommendations to patients are data-driven. In this paper, Infertility Sterility, that I just referred to, uh, our remarkable findings can be summarized as follows. Amongst very poor prognosis patients, with, which means patients with either very high FSH or very low AMH levels, there will obviously be a group of patients whose ovaries no longer respond to stimulation. Those patients will not produce eggs, and will not produce embryos. Uh, those patients, however, will very early in the process, in the treatment process, recognize that there is no response and therefore their expenses will be limited. A majority of patients, however, will respond and will produce eggs and will produce embryos. And here the data were actually fascinating. But if you're under age 35, even only one embryo in our program will still give you an approximately 33% clinical pregnancy rate. If you are between ages 35 and 37, that same one embryo will give you about a 15% clinical pregnancy rate. And as you get older, uh, the numbers drop pretty uh, precipitously. And once you reach age 43 and above, one embryo basically does not give you any more any pregnancy chances. And when you further look at this table, you see, however, that if you are 43 or above, if you at that point succeed to produce three embryos, you still have a 7.4% clinical pregnancy. Many, if not most, IVF centers, not only in the US, but all over the world, will not treat patients over 42 or 43. Indeed, in many Scandinavian countries in Europe, uh, insurance coverage stops at, a, a, at around age 40 or 41. Uh, our colleagues, therefore, have very little experience in treating older patients. It therefore is not surprising uh, that a very common myth that is presented to older patients is that their IVF pregnancy chances above age 42 are at best 1 to 2 percent. That is categorically incorrect as this table demonstrates. By having these data, we can be very specific in explaining to our patients uh, what their chances are, and by doing so, we believe we are giving them the opportunity to make a very educated decision in deciding 
between using their own eggs or young donor eggs.